I was lucky enough to go to a few conferences out in the mountains in Washington and Oregon this year, but that was my first contact with any real Bigfoot people. I, I grew up in the Everglades. It's my home. That's where I do my research. And uh, we've always called them skunk apes down here in the Everglades. That's just kind of the way it's been all my life. I saw my first skunk ape when I was 10 years old here in the Big Cypress National Preserve, which borders Everglades National Park. Um, A lot of people think the Everglades isn't that big, but we actually have the, it's the largest wild interconnected protected lands east of the Mississippi in the country. We've got 3 million acres here. Really? Uh, yeah, and I live right in the middle of it. But now, you ask me a question, what, what's a Bigfoot or stock ape? What are the differences? Well, the animals we have down here in the Everglades that, that people describe as a Bigfoot are much smaller. So a, where Bigfoots are eight or nine foot tall here, it's more the sightings are six, six and a half, seven feet tall at best, um, a little different color. They also... Um, climb trees. They spend a lot of time in the trees. I don't know, maybe some of your listeners saw Expedition X recently where they actually uh, went out into the preserve here. I helped them a lot and they found a nest and uh, they they did a lot of studies on that. So they go up in the trees much like orangutans and that's a behavior that's not really talked about in the Bigfoot world, you know, footprints themselves are different i believe we have a genetic all few maybe um you know subspecies of a bigfoot here these things have been in the everglades for a long time you look on the wall behind me here you can see all these posted notes oh yeah these are just the sightings here at the everglades in the last three months really so there's a lot of sightings that's pretty amazing um yeah because I, I was watching your video and i forget who did the documentary with you and he was showing the headquarters, but he was talking about the Bigfoot having four toes. Now, have you ever gotten any blowback from the Bigfoot community uh, regarding are you, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Um, I mean, I've, I've been actively researching now. I just turned 61 since I was 10 years old. So I've been doing this for 50, 51 years. And... Uh, it's been a big stickler uh, between me and the Bigfoot people uh, out out west. Because people think, well, we got a Bigfoot in Florida, but the the toes been a turn off. They they've been very Bigfoot researchers in general. Organizations around the country have been very reluctant to accept the possibility that we may have something down here that's just a little bit different. And it's taken me pretty much my whole life, really. Uh, just to get them to come around. Now they're now they're down here in big groups, and 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 they. But it's taken a long time for them to to come around, and I don't know why. I was the only. I used to say, "I'm the best. I'm the best there it is." But there was nobody else doing it, so I was like telling the truth. But now today, there's more people, and and I got to respect the young people coming up and encourage them to get out and do some research as well, because these things. They need to be protected. Uh, we have a pretty good stronghold going on here in, in deep in the Everglades, but the, the predators, a lot of development going on, stuff like that. And uh, 